I saw one of these blocks that somebody else had made and I said, golly, why is nobody doing anything with this material? And so literally I just started going into, uh, into our uh, facilities there and started to play with all kinds of different mixes until we got the recipe that uh, was just issued our patent in January. We just kind of came up with a blend uh, that includes the state of Texas lottery tickets, newspapers, and phone books. We're very adamant that there's no cardboard in this particular mix, uh, no wax papers, and it just it's what we found that worked the best as far as uh, blending the cements and all the additives that we have into our, uh, into our products. Compared to a standard cinder block, we're about a third of the weight, twice the strength. Standard cinder block has an R value less than one, red and about an R25 in that same size unit. So it's really the first pre-insulated cinder block. Then you've got the fact that it's made out of a recycled material. Texas Tech, well, with everybody in our company, we're all pretty much uh, tech alums and graduates from tech, and, and uh, it's kind of neat. We were honored that tech wanted to get involved and became an actual partner in our company. Uh, they're helping us do a bunch of, of uh, testing and things over the summer with the engineering department. We're trying to set the basis for Mason Green Star to see what kind of product they have in their hands right now. There's two teams within our teams for the Mason Green Star project blocks and uh, I am on the thermal side. We do durability tests, some general moisture content type tests, and also the thermal tests. We're testing the material in extreme conditions, but um, it's always just a good to see what, you know, how this material reacts in those extreme conditions. So we'll be like with the freeze thaw chamber that we have going on downstairs, because that's really used for concrete, but it's kind of it's neat to see the actual visual changes that happen from testing the, uh, the paper crete. We're in charge of the strength of the material, so we're going to test it in tension. So you want to make sure that you're very confident that this product, under these design conditions, will, will work every time. There is no guideline for paper creep. It's a new product and nobody really done much testing on it. The city of Lubbock is one of the first major municipalities uh, to allow us to build within the city limits, so it's a big step. It's neat that Texas Tech's getting involved, city of Lubbock, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of fun that this is where it's all starting and taking place.